what is position isomerism well this type of isomerism generates due to the difference in the position of the same functional group in the carbon chain for example consider chloropropane we can see that the functional group is chlorine here this functional group of chlorine is present at the first carbon so we write that this is the first isomer of chloropropane now listen carefully i am going to shift the position of this functional group of chlorine i mean i cut this functional group from the first carbon and attach it to the second carbon let me repeat it i cut this chlorine functional group from the first carbon and i attach it to the second carbon thus i get another chloropropane this is the second isomer of chloropropane if i ask you what is the difference between these two compounds the answer is simple in this compound chlorine is present at the first carbon while in this compound chlorine is present at the second carbon the only difference between these two compounds is the different position of the same functional group chlorine thus noted down these two functional isomers of chloropropane now let me teach you one exam question draw the position isomers of the following compounds well in this compound we can see that the double bond is present at the first carbon now if i change the position of this double bond then i will get another isomer of this compound so i am changing the position of this double bond from first position to the second position here the double bond is present at the second position so this is the second isomer of this compound or we say that this is the position isomer of this compound secondly in this compound the functional group oh is present at the first carbon if i shift the position of this functional group then i will get another isomer of this compound so i am shifting the position of this functional group from the first carbon to the second carbon so i get another isomer of this compound or i say this is the position isomer of this compound thirdly in this case the functional group c double oh is present at the second carbon if i change the position of this functional group then i will get another isomer of this compound so i am shifting the position of this functional group to the first carbon so i get another isomer of this compound or i say this is the position isomer of this compound thus by this way we can easily draw the position isomers of different compounds